This video will show you how to start and stop the MySQL server and workbench on a Mac. You can start and stop the MySQL server using an icon on the system preferences menu. Clicking the icon will open the MySQL server dialog and here you can start your MySQL server. You may need to enter your system password and the dialog will clearly show that your server is running. You can start MySQL Workbench through your Applications folder or through the Launchpad. Once Workbench starts, you will see a connection icon to the top left of the program window. By clicking on that icon, you can establish a connection to your MySQL database server. Here you can check the status of your server, run queries on the databases on your server, backup and restore databases, and perform other operations on your server and your databases. You can navigate between the initial program window and the established connection window using the tabs at the top. If you do not see a connection icon available when you start Workbench, you can add a connection yourself. Click on the plus sign next to MySQL Connections, type in a connection name, possibly localhost, and test the connection. If the test is a pass, click OK, click OK again. You have added a new connection which you can use to connect to your database server. When you're done working on your databases and your server, you can quit Workbench and then stop your MySQL database server through System Preferences menu. Once again, the MySQL server dialog will clearly show that your server is stopped. You can check this box to have the MySQL database server start automatically when you start your computer. However, I do not recommend that for security reasons.